So, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about my path to partnership and try to help some people out with uh, figuring out what this nebulous thing called partnership is, because I don't even think YouTube knows exactly what a partner is or is not as far as uh, getting all of the benefits of being a partner. So, all of this information is only good as of July 27th, 2012. If you're watching this video uh, and it's a whole year has passed, in the past year, as of this video, so much has changed about the partnership program that uh, I imagine you know a, a lot more will have changed. So disregard what I'm saying or check out every little fact that I'm saying because everything could change. So before we begin, uh, shout outs to Brian J1962 and Godless Manitoban, both of whom have helped me out on this journey. Uh, Brian J1962, if you need some uh, really good background music for your videos, some copyright free stuff, uh, I would check him out. Um, hit him up. Um, he is very approachable. Uh, beware, his British red coat accent might steal your girlfriend away. Godless Manitoban helped me out with my channel banner and mapping the images so that when you click in the certain places it goes to the right place that it's supposed to go. So, if you need that done, I would hit him up. Um, and please, subscribe to both of these wonderful people. <clears throat> now, I applied for partnership in uh, 2011, in the fall. And I waited and waited and waited, and I finally got my denial letter from them, my email. And it sucked because I met all of what I thought were the benchmarks, the minimum benchmarks that everyone else seemed to believe were in place. Like having a thousand subscribers, having over a hundred thousand views, you know, I had all of that. But, uh, apparently I didn't have some it factor that they were looking for. Um, around the same time, I know that uh, Shayra, she applied, and the Barking Atheist applied. And Shayra had uh, a good number of video views, and her, her views came uh, more from singular videos that had thousands of views on them. But she had the subscriber benchmark, she had the view benchmark, and she didn't get partnership from YouTube. Uh, the Barking Atheist, he got it. And what, what they were looking for, I have no idea. This partnership thing has been very nebulous. Um, because they'll, they'll take some and not take others. Sometimes uh, the the benchmarks were different for some countries where a guy from the Isle of Man had 200 subscribers and he got partnership. So, <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was very frustrating. And then when I was going to apply again for YouTube, this was around uh, Christmas of 2011, uh, I decided enough time had passed and it was time to apply again. I had some other uh, advice from certain people like Happy Cabby that was a little old, a little dusty. And this advice was to private every video that didn't have more than a thousand views on it. And for a guy like me with, you know, over a thousand views or over a thousand videos on my channel. You know, that's a thousand times going in and privating things. And not just that, because you can, you know, just click on an entire page of stuff and private entire pages. But then later having to go back and unprivate things, it's it was a lot of work I was looking at, and I was like, ah, oh, this is just you know, that that's just too frustrating. I don't want to go through that. So I didn't and I didn't apply again 
but I did see that there were changes being made to the partnership program. And in April of 2012, they started giving more of the partner-only benefits to people who had monetization on their channel. And they started calling everyone who had at least one video monetized on their channel a partner. But those partners didn't have all the benefits of being a partner, like being able to change your uh, channel watch video icon. I, um, it's one of those... I get messed up with directions. Anyways, also, you know, having a channel banner, and there are other uh, features to being a partner that I did not know about. And all this time, I've been trying to learn as much as I could about partnership, but, you know, it's a very nebulous thing. One of the other benefits that you get for being a partner is you don't you not only get public unlisted and private, you also get scheduled on that same tab when you're uploading a video. So uh, you could have things scheduled out for an entire week where they will upload and you can go on vacation and while you're gone you'll have videos uploading. And that's a benefit that I didn't know about. Uh, let's see. So that, that change happened in April, but also around the same time, uh, since the beginning of this year, these networks have been popping up. And these networks have the ability to twink your channel and make you a partner. Full privileges, right? And it's really strange about how these uh, networks work. Um, each one seems to work a little bit differently as far as uh, the entrance requirements to their network. Uh, some of them actually state up front that they want a certain requirement, but they are willing to bend a little bit to get some people in. Uh, case in point, the network that I'm a part of, I've, I met the benchmark of 1,000 views per day on average for the, for the previous 30 days. And then I found out that I could have gotten in with a lower amount. They, w they were willing to budge a little bit on that. Um, all of the networks that I have found, except for one, still require that you have no copyright infringement claims, no uh, uh, strikes on your account. The one that seems to still... Uh, have some leeway in that is actually machinima. So for those of you who think that your your channel is never going to be partnered because you've had a, a strike on your account that won't go away, there still is, you know, the the Dallas Cowboys, Oakland Raiders team uh, as far as <laughs> uh, taking the criminals. Uh, Other than that, there, there are different uh, requirements to all of these different networks. I'm going to leave a list of them in the description box so that uh, everyone can check out uh, the networks that I shopped around for uh, in my decision on, on who to go with to finally get these partnership uh, benefits, these full partnership benefits that apparently YouTube does have plans to give to everyone, but they have just been very slow to do so. So, again, this information only as good as uh, July 27th, 2012, and everything could change uh, even just next month. So, take care.